Henrik Fisker teased us with this image uh, right here last week, saying a, a, a new car in the Fisker uh, family is coming for around close, he said, $40,000. And today he unveiled the image, just one you know, just one. I'll show you what it is. Uh, there's tons of specs though. They release tons of specs. Um, I'll, I'll talk about them as well. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about whether or not it's realistic for this car to make it into production in just a couple of years, as Henrik is promising. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. And of course, if this is your first time here, go ahead and slam that subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward and become a part of this amazing community. All right. So um, as you know, uh, this is the image. This is the image. This is not really the way to point, right? This is. Um, this is the image uh, that we saw uh, last week. Not much, except for we knew there would be no um, side uh, mirror cameras. But not much to tell. But uh, today, uh, Henrik uh, tweeted out one minute. I was surprised that he only did one. Um, and it was actually from the front. It's kind of like a bigger image of this. I'll, I'll show you in a second. Uh, but um, and because, you know, we, we love him for, if anything you love Henry Fisker for, is for his amazing designs. Um, so I kind of wanted more. Now, they're saying that the actual unveil will take less, place closer to the end of the year. Um, and uh, you know, let's look at it. And, and but, but a little bit of history, of course. Um, as you know, Emotion and... This is the picture of Emotion at the 2018 uh, CES. I took it actually myself, um, and that's where I um, had a, a great chat with, with with Hendrik. As you probably remember, he's been on my show twice now. Uh, this is the first time, uh, and the last time he unveiled uh, exclusively on my channel, which doesn't really happen very often, but uh, that he is going to be putting a solid state batteries in this car. Now, I think this is the biggest controversy about him is because, you know, uh, just whether or not he can deliver, whether or not it's all fluff, you know, and, and but he, he's been consistently going out there and saying and talking about the progress of the solid state batteries, which would be a huge breakthrough uh, for the entire uh, tech and car industry. So it's, it's, you know, it's kind of on our radars, but a lot of people have doubting him uh, because uh, of, of the history. And, you know, in this interview, I actually asked him, I flat out asked him, you can see it on my, in the library of my channel. Hey, how can we trust you now after, you know, the first time around? And he, he did have a good answer. Um, all right. So um, let's look at the new image and, and what, uh, what they're actually going to be uh, uh, talking about the specs. Uh, before that, of course, I want to remind you guys that this video and this channel is sponsored by Accelerate, uh, the business le business business leases for electric cars, including the Tesla Model 3. The, the, the only way that I know right now uh, how you can lease a Tesla Model 3. Um, if so, if you work for a business or you own a business that's able to do this, this is a this is a great third party solution that a lot of people have been asking about. So go ahead and dig into the description of this video um, and you will find the URL there. Um, if you are, you know, you will get a free quote. Just make sure to tell them that uh, you came from uh, from here, from this channel, and they'll definitely take a really good care of you. All right. So um, here's the image. Here's the image. Um, I'll even bring it full screen. Uh, a little disappointing that it's from the front, right? It doesn't really it just kind of gives us a flat overview of what it is, um, and doesn't really look Fiskerish, right? Um, and again, I, I I don't know what to kind of you know make of it uh, without the at least another view, maybe kind of a so it gives me a three D idea. Uh, there is an SUV. Well, it's a crossover SUV, which obviously the timing was. For the Model Y, this, 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 if this will ever see the light of day, it will compete with the Model Y. The same timeline, I believe, I believe 2000, uh, 2021. I'm looking through my notes here. Uh, 2021, uh, uh, second half is when, uh, when, when Henry says it will be in production. Um, under 40,000, you know, Model Y is uh, 39,000. So it definitely looks like it's a direct competitor as far as the timing and all of that stuff. Um, now, th there are some interesting, uh, there are some interesting uh, stats here. 300 mile range. Again, we don't know it's going to be solid state or not. Uh, 80 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, I don't know if solid state batteries are measured by kilowatt hour, but I'm assuming they would. Um, crossover SUV, under $40,000. 
Uh, dual motor is uh, is also available. Um, uh, direct sales, they're gonna you know do direct sales. Obviously, Tesla paved the road, so why not? A uh, franchise service, which franchised service, which I absolutely love because you get to pick the uh, locations and and third party uh, vendors that can provide it. You can change them if you don't like them, and that way you don't really have to have your own operation. So that's pretty good. Heads up display, a large heads up display. Looking forward to that. I don't know if it's gonna be built into the windshield. Um, can't really say that the picture. So um and uh, he has a state-of-the-art user interface and and really nice luxury interior kind of expect that open air atmosphere that's another thing they're saying with the press of the button i'm assuming it's just going to go into like a convertible or a panoramic roof will open so make your own guess um now the air will still flow through the grill um so the see the bottom part uh, you, you can you're able the car will able to open it if it needs a little bit more cooling so obviously grills are still in and as you can see there is a radar no mention of the lighter by the way that's that's uh that's uh, on uh, e-motion but uh the radar is right here as a matter of fact i'm also wondering if the side mirrors have the uh, either lighters or radars built in them because they see that bulky part that's kind of sticking out can be part of the design can it i'm assuming it's part of the um part of the equipment um so not much about the light like nothing at all about the laters uh, radars uh, lighters uh, but it is going to have a, a, a radar um 22 inch uh, wheels are going to be available as well but for that size of suv that might look pretty cool actually um and um if, uh, henry also said that they're finalizing the uh, final location for uh for their facilities i don't know if it's going to be a third party which kind of would make sense or they're going to be building out their own now if they are going to be building out their own i'm just wondering will they really have time like i don't see how you can produce a second car on a two-year period you know time frame is you if your first car is not in production yet and you don't have a facility so this must be something where it's kind of a third-party facility but then i can see how once you made that contract you boom you're ready to go um you know you don't need to build it out is what i'm saying all right well let's start let's now that you know everything about uh what they got in store for us uh let's talk about positives and negatives all right so the positives is obviously you know another car on the market in terms of uh, on, the, on the concept car market um it, you know that's good and you know some people are saying well he didn't finish the, the the first car now he's announcing the second car i actually don't think anything wrong with it i think that's good that's that looks like they are solidifying their brand you don't want to just be one product type of a brand you want to have a lineup you know Biden hasn't made a single car yet they already have two in their lineup but there's nothing wrong with it I, I'm a big Biden fan as you know and I think that's perfectly fine um so that's number one number two is it's also good that they're having a lot of uh, uh specs you know um and so maybe they're closer to the reality than than we might think because you know a lot of these specs are actually means that they've thought a lot of this stuff through not guaranteed but but there's a, it's a good sign but i think the biggest news to me is that they're close to getting their facility which again by the phrase how they phrased it in their press releases is is um that they could be just a third party uh manufacturer by the way neo in china right they're using a, a, i believe gilly's uh, uh factories to to make their uh car so i think this is a great way for a startup to actually go to production and if that's true if they're close another month or two you know that's going to be a game changer for their brand obviously so um now as far as negatives are concerned you know these are easy first of all you know um the timeline is a little funny still even if you do a a, a third party solution for your manufacturing because you know emotion is still kind of up in the air um so i you know the timeline is a little iffy right and another negative to me is that you know I love to see I, i'm not really in love with this design the way i see it maybe it's gorgeous if you see the 3d which we didn't we we can't see that this is the only image that i have so to me that that would be that would be the negative i i just gotta say this is not an amazing stunning beauty that like we used to as far as uh you know fiskars designs and and it's a, it's a shame because i was looking forward to it if anything if this car never goes to production if anything we can at least drool over an amazing design um so yeah all right by the way i want to give a quick shout out to one of my newer patreons kevin hendrix thank you so much for joining my patreon community the only place where you can watch me live so thank you for that i really appreciate it if you want to join my community I'll go to the description of this video and you can uh do it there all right let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about this uh, fisker crossover suv um other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged